So in the latest Maris poll, we uh, took a look this week at the three Sunbelt states of North Carolina, Georgia, and Arizona. They have a combined 43 electoral votes, which is why they're getting so much uh, attraction from the candidates. Um, last week, we polled in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, the so-called Rust Belt. Uh, different region, but very similar results. Uh, we saw in each of these three states, North Carolina, Georgia, and Arizona, that the race is indeed very, very close, uh, well within the margin of error. Uh, no one has any kind of advantage there. Uh, we're looking, digging into the numbers a little bit more. We see that the support among Democrats in these three, three states for Harris is very firm. Uh, the support for Republicans for Trump is also very solid for him in his base, although a few cracks, minor cracks, which we're going to have to look at in the future. Uh, Harris is getting a few more Republicans than Trump is getting Democrats. So we have to see if that uh, begins to be a change in October or it's just kind of a little, just a little advantage, but not much to write home about. Uh, we looked at, uh, independents. If you kind of put Democrats in one corner, Republicans in the other, independents become a, a big deal, obviously, in terms of, uh, carrying the state. Uh, North Carolina, they're dead even, uh, in Arizona and Georgia. A very slight advantage among independent for Harris, but she's not getting what Joe Biden got four years ago in any of those three states. So independents still become a work in progress for her uh, to get to the numbers that, that Biden had. Gender gap. We expect a huge gender gap, and we're seeing it in each of these three states. It's a different range, Georgia being the highest, Arizona being the least in terms of gender gap, but in all three of these states, the gender gap is wider right now than it was four years ago. So that's a factor to, to look for. And then we see some very important similarities in these states when it comes to how the candidates are being seen. So Kamala Harris, she wins when it comes to honest and trustworthiness. She also is seen more than Trump as someone who shares their values, shares your values. Uh, Donald Trump is scoring big as he has and continues on the question of who's a strong leader and also who's closer to people on the issues. And we see those two line up one way and two the other way in all three of these states. So it's very similar. Well, no presidential debates, one more VP debate. It may be entertaining. It's not going to move a lot of voters more than likely. So expect in the calendar and in the month ahead that this stuff's going to get really rough and tumble because the race is just that close.